Hello everyone, this is MopBot, this is a redstone tutorial, and this is the color changing beacon beam. Now I know that there are already a few designs out there for this one, and some of them use a couple more colors than the one I'm about to show you. But the main advantages to this one are that it is fairly cheap to make, and you don't get that weird color glitch where when you change between colors, the beam renders as white before changing to the color you want. So to build this, you're going to need to start by building your beacon. I'm using diamond blocks. You can also use gold, iron, or emerald, and any combination of the four. So by you putting your beacon in the middle of these uh, three by three ore blocks, you can get this beacon beam. And it will actually unrender past a certain point. That's just a glitch with 1.8 that has to do with loading this block down here. But you can put now a block of glass on top of that. And just one will change the color to a solid color. And the next color you're going to want to use, you're going to want to use three of them, like so. And if you use less, you'll get kind of like a purplish. Uh, if you're using the red and blue like I am, kind of lighter purple and then the solid blue. So then what you're going to want to do is going to come out on the side like this, two blocks, and then destroy that middle block. And you're going to need three pistons facing into these blocks. And then three blocks to the outside like this with pistons on their faces. Again, one, two three facing in to these uh, these glass blocks. And now you're going to want to come out of the middle piston with one block and then come to the side and make this kind of T-shape and then repeat that on the other side. So it's just this little T-shape like that. And then you're going to take redstone dust and put it on the two ends like so. And then a comparator facing outwards on both sides facing into a block like so. From there you're going to want to put a piston on the front of this redstone dust like this, and then the same on this side, and then a redstone block on the face of one of those. From there you're going to need to place two hoppers facing into each other, and you can do that by shift clicking, or if you're doing it in the air, hold space shift and then right click on it to have them connecting like so. So you can see from the bottom that they're running into each other and they will spit items back and forth. So now you can put items into the one that is not powered, and a good number to do is really anywhere between 8 and 16. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm doing 8. You can fill up this hopper as high as you want. The more items, the longer it will take for the beam to change color. But you can see now that it does... Unrenders, okay. It does not blink white before going, and that is because this glass block here never actually moves, so it is never rendered that there is no block on top of the beacon, which would cause it to be white. So this is very, very useful. Looks pretty cool, and a lot of fun to play with. So my voice in this tutorial was a little bit off from what it normally is. I'm still trying to get over a cold, but I really wanted to get this tutorial out there, and so I just thought I'd deal with it. But one thing I thought I'd point out that I forgot to do before is that this basic setup is an Etho hopper clock. This part of the, the build right here is the Etho hopper clock. A link to that will be in the description, but over here this is actually my part that I've just designed to keep a constant color on the beam. So anyways guys, this has been MopBot, and I'm out.